guys DJ back here today we are going to discuss about a pain that we all have to go through once in a while well that is the death of our hard drives with all our important data on it though everyone says the backup your data well important data somewhere but what happens if the backup hard drive dies well that happens I have gone through the same pain not so while ago a couple of weeks ago my hard drive external hard drive 2 TV WD elements died with all my important data on it and I was seriously screwed you cannot just think what I have to go I had to go through just to get the important files out most of the data was lost to obscurity and never to get back the one thing that was better with my hard drive that it was under warranty so I had sent an RMA repair material authorization and uh, get it replaced most of us are not so lucky because most of the hard drives uh, have a three year warranty and they actually run more than that only some of them break before that time I, have, I do have a, a Seagate hard drive too and it, I've been using it for a couple of years now but uh, it doesn't it hasn't shown any problem till now you see here I have other hard drives they have something in common with this one that they are dead they don't work at all well for when I sent uh, my hard drive in RMA this is what WDS sent me back some of the documentation with it I don't know what they have written on it it is you should, um, I suppose it's crap well there are many things you can do actually when your hard drive dies first that we'll discuss in this video but let's first open this thing that they've sent us okay let's try and open it this is just some documentation that they've sent let's take it off Done serious, some serious work packing it. That's off. I don't know if this is much of a crap but nothing much. The main thing is in here. Let's see what we have got back in return for what we sent. Has have this and the same one fixed or they have done something else? Here we go. There it is. It's almost out. I just have to use a little more of the force, not the Star Wars kind of force, just a brute force. Oh, here it is. Oh, they have actually sent a whole new hard drive. They actually have sent a completely new hard drive you see the box contains a completely new hard drive it's a 2 TB of course wow this is good so actually we got to do the, not just the RMA and Bob but uh, for video for this but also unboxing video of WD elements 2 TB hard drive <laughs> well this is cool they've actually sent a new hard drive a replacement one so see if your hard drive dies within three years this is what you get a new one well it might not be as consulting as getting your data back but yeah it does have a good feeling to it that you have a new hard drive to play with let's see let's just kick it in they do pack it quite well so I think I have to 
do some damage to it in order to get it out let's just use our nails oh come on don't give me hard time with it it is just impossible to there we go. Well, I did scrape off the skin off of it. Ooh. Is opened. Well. Well. Here it is. This is a USB 3.0 cable. You see? This is the B port, this is the A port. And here it is, the WD hard drive, the new hard drive that they have sent. It actually looks nice. It's, it is a little bigger, it, it is a little wider than my other hard drive that actually I sent back, but it doesn't look that bad either. I think I can work with it. Take off this polish and whatever it is. It has shiny material on it. I don't know what that is because I don't know which model of hard drive it is. They have just sent it to me. It was just, just some signals of showing the product number, serial number, nothing much. Well, in short, a good little hard drive. Let's see what the box says. Here we have a USB 3.0 and 2.0 compatibility. Maximum data speeds or with USB massive capacity in a small enclosure. Plug and play simplicity. Contents compatibility. That's all. It doesn't. The box doesn't say much. It just says it's. Uh, Compatible with Windows 8. That's all. That's all I can get from the box. It's a USB 2 3.0 to 3DB hard drive. Not much. Well, that's about it with the hard drive. Uh, let's go through some things that we can actually do when uh, our hard drive dies. Well, it's not just that you can send. You have to directly send it to into RMA and get a new one back. But actually, you can do some many other things. Like uh, you can actually uh, try and save your data. Uh, the first thing when your hard drive dies, when your hard drive is not working, is not to go run and uh, go to the RMA th uh, option. First thing you have to check whether is it dead, like totally not working, or it is just corrupt and not, and uh, uh, Windows or any other operating system is not able to read it. So you can do these things by, there are many uh, softwares that uh, do these things for you, uh, that uh, one of them is HD Sentinel, that is one of the best I've used, you can also use HD Tune Pro, IK Recovery, there are many others, uh, but do keep in mind that uh, it is true that your data may already be lost, so don't get uh, upset when you don't find any data even though your hard drive is working, not uh, fine but it might be working but the data might be lost because the drive might be corrupt because all we have inside is a SATA simple SATA laptop hard drive inside it and a USB connector which converts it into the USB drive nothing else this is just a simple hard drive internal hard drive 2.5 inch hard drive inside this case and uh, the second thing is to check for warranty of course because uh, usually none of us register with the company websites and uh, get our you know registration done on the website so you know to find out whether our uh, drive is still in warranty is to keep the bill find the bill you will know whether it is in warranty or not uh, that all will also tell us whether we can operate to what extent extent where we can actually operate on the hard drive extra if it's external hard drive like we can actually try and open it if there's uh, the data on it is actually really important for us like mine was most of my project work was inside the hard drive but um, 
actually very i was very fortunate that uh, my hard drive was not totally dead it actually just didn't was working very well and most of the data uh, part was corrupt more but the data where my projects were saved were i was able to extract them from the hard drive and the third thing is if it's not dead it's just corrupt you can use some of the software that are uh, available in the market uh, like stellar phoenix where data recovery and ik recovery will do that for you too but i personally feel stellar phoenix data recovery is the best one to do so uh, if the uh, software doesn't uh, run and doesn't find the data because that can happen actually uh, they are may you might have to get your hands dirty in uh, you know getting the data out and do some geeky work uh, like opening it up if the data if the warranty is not there if you don't have the warranty then you can open it because if you open it the warranty will be void and they will not return you a new hard drive so you'll be st you'll be stuck with a dead hard drive if you open it up and you find that even after opening it up it's still dead so if you only go uh, to the option of actually opening it when you have uh, you know that what you're doing you don't want to ruin the warranty with it because of course you don't want to spend the same buck again well there are many others other ways too like there are uh, some softwares that will uh, help you recover in DOS modes like there is a photo recovery software I will share the link on on this video when I'll do it so uh, that's about it so I'm very happy now that uh, I have got a new hard drive in here in place of the old hard drive with all the accessories with it so that's about it so thanks for watching if you liked it like it if you disliked it dislike it and uh, please do subscribe so and uh, yeah now we are as we are dj web pros we are will be creating a new website soon we'll be launching it and we'll share the link of course so do register on the website thank you